Hey, I'm Nick. And it's Justin. And uh, here we're going to uh, Coney Island, I mean Luna Park in Coney Island. Uh, uh, we're going to make a little review video, so I'll show you how it is. We took the F train from Forest Hills in Queens to Coney Island in Brooklyn. It's a really long ride, 38 stops to be exact, since the F train has to go through Manhattan to get to the last stop in Brooklyn, Coney Island Stillwell Avenue. Once we got there, we purchased, well actually my dad did, an unlimited 4 hour wristband for $32, which is actually a really good deal. The wristband gets you in all the mild, moderate, and high thrill rides. If you want to get on extreme rides like the Thunderbolt, you have to pay for it separately. Our first stop was one of Coney Island's signature rides, the Steeplechase. You mount a horse, and as you shoot out of the gate, you go from 0 to 40 miles per hour in less than 2 seconds. The track is almost 1,500 feet long, and the experience lasts about 45 seconds. This is one of my favorite rides, and I think I must have done it 20 times in a row. Although I didn't go on the Zenobio, it looks like an extremely scary ride. You land upside down 130 feet in the air, and then swing back to the ground 60 miles per hour. Our next stop was the Brooklyn Flyer, which is a great ride to get some fresh air and take in a bird's eye view of Luna Park and the boardwalk. That was one of the two rides my dad went in. He was a little dizzy after going on the tickle. This is my report for the Brooklyn Flyer, that big uh, swing thing. It's actually pretty good. You get a nice view of the beach. It doesn't drop very fast and it's actually pretty fun. So I did a uh, 10 out of 10. I'm actually 9 out of 10. No, I like the um, Brooklyn Fire. Uh, it wasn't scary, it was pretty good. You go up, get a nice view, and I rated it a 9.5. The Coney Island Glider was next on our list. In this one, you lie horizontally in a two-passenger gondola. It's a nice ride, but it takes a long time for the operator to strap everyone in, and the straps were a little uncomfortable. <laughs> While I went to get some water, Justin went solo on the electro spin. The ride looks like a huge lazy Susan. You sit in a motorcycle inspired handlebar while the platform spins and goes up and down a 50 foot tall halfway. Time for lunch. We headed over to Nathan's famous hot dog. I had a delicious corn dog. Ask for it even though it's not listed on the menu. Nathan's is famous for its hot dog eating contest, which takes place every July 4th. The current eating champion in the men's category is Joey Chestnut, who ate 69 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Even though it was not part of the unlimited wristband deal, we cannot leave without driving on the Coney Island Raceway, one of my favorite attractions. You get the thrill of being a real race car driver on a 900 foot long track. Remember, you are not allowed to bump into other cars. After the second warning, they will kick you off the track. Coney Island's Luna Park is an amazing amusement park, and you should really definitely visit if you come to New York. 